Hello students, welcome to Year 11 Chemistry and the Property and Structures of Matter uh, module. This is part of the uh, Chemistry 300 series and we are looking this time at how we classify elements based on their physical properties. So the first thing we need to do is to have a quick look at how we classify elements. Now there's a number of different ways but you, what you'll find is when you look at the periodic table, you'll find some distinct regions that um, we can kind of separate the table up into. The first and the most obvious way to do this is on the basis of the metals, which are all to the left and in the center. Um, the non-metals, which are all to the right. And then in a little sort of staggered pattern in the middle are what we call the metalloids. Uh, or semi-metals. Okay, so that's the groupings, but why are they like that? Well, there's a couple of reasons for them, and mainly those reasons fall into one of two categories. Either their physical properties or their chemical properties. And most of the time, when we start to analyze the different types of properties that we see for each of these different groups, we find that there's some consistency around them. You may have already in your junior years studied uh, things like uh, Mendeleev's periodic table and the fact that he found repeating patterns, patterns known as periodicity, just um, things that occur over a certain period of time uh, over and over again. And that pattern allowed him not only to organize the periodic table into a form that's very similar to the one that we use now, but also to very accurately predict um, the properties of elements that at that point uh, were not known. Subsequently, he was found to be correct in a lot of his um, guesses, if you like. And good models um, will do that. They'll allow you to make predictions and they'll allow you to be pretty accurate in your predictions. Of course, if you're not, then we need to go back to the beginning and look at how we might uh, modify our models. So in this particular video, I just want to go through one or two of the key um, pr physical properties. The next video will look at chemical properties, but for the physical properties that help us to classify metals um, as distinct from uh, the semi-metals or metalloids and also the non-metals. One of the most important ones is melting point and boiling point. Melting and boiling point. Now we need a little bit more information about how these substances link together and that will come in later videos uh, further on down this course. At this point in time though what we're trying to do is to move uh, substances from solid to liquid to gas. Now we know that we do that with temperature with the addition of heat energy that um, creates more energy in the particles. Our kinetic theory of matter suggests that particles are always in motion you increase heat that is translated into faster motion and if that motion is fast enough then the particles will actually separate from their tight hold on one another and potentially move independently as they do for example in a gas now what we find is our metals generally speaking have quite high melting and boiling points but our non-metals have low. That means that we find most metals as solids at room temperature, at uh, standard laboratory conditions, uh, but most non-metals are gases at the same, under the same conditions. Now, of course, there are always exceptions, and one of the things that you need to be aware of in your study of chemistry is there's heaps and heaps of exceptions to a lot of these rules. Uh, mercury is one example of a metal which is actually a liquid at room temperature and carbon for reasons which will become uh, more obvious later on is an example of a non-metal which is actually a solid at um, room temperature and in fact this solid uh, remains a solid to what is effectively the highest melting point of all uh, elements. Now a few other things that we can look at uh, in terms of our properties which we will examine in the classroom and I hope that you'll have a chance in the laboratory to have a play with a number of different substances to just investigate some of these properties. Hardness, uh, conductivity, uh, both uh, electrical and thermal, uh, things like luster or appearance, colour, those sorts of things. These are all physical properties and they help us to distinguish the metals from the non-metals. We'll look at chemical properties in the next video. Thanks for watching.